blown away that they came to the door and asked me for chicken feathers. Well, fly tying is made up of a lot of chicken feathers, yes, but usually when you come into a fly tying shop, you ask for a specific type of feather, be it from a different part of the bird, like the saddle or the neck or the cape or something like that, because each feather has a different usage. But when you come in and say, just give me some chicken feathers, I didn't have a clue. I said, well, I have quote unquote chicken feathers over here. And so they came over and they immediately gravitated towards these long ones. And I said, wow, you're tying flies? Oh no, we're putting them in our hair. And I kind of blinked, I thought, you're putting them in your hair? Because I was unaware of the new Steven Tyler thing and uh, whatever that was that he started on TV and it now become a huge rage and fad, so. So it wasn't just a, a one person came in? Ever. Oh no. No, they, they came in by the wave. And did you ever think, how long have you been here? Here or I've been in this business? 26 years. Did you ever think that your customers would shift into this demographic for this reason? Uh, no, I've sold feathers for people who own pets, like their cats. They'll buy a feather to kind of play with their cat or something like that. And the jewelry industry for like earrings and stuff like that. I've sold feathers for, but not to put them. And uh, is it is it good for business? Oh, I hope to shout. Uh, the fashion industry is huge, and uh, they were telling me that the beauty salons were charging something like between ten and twenty dollars for feather to have it put in the hair. And I said, "Well, how's it put in your hair? I mean, well, sometimes they glue it." And sometimes they have a little, like a little comb that just kind of sticks in there and lets it hang there. And I, I thought all this was interesting, but I just couldn't quite see that much money for a chicken feather. So they have to buy the feather but bring it into the salon, is what it sounds like? Correct. Yeah. How much are these feathers going for? They used to go for probably $75 for a saddle. Now, this is a saddle right here. Okay. This one right here. And on that saddle, there is about 400 feathers. And that saddle used to retail for right around $75. That depends upon the grade and how good it is. Mm -hmm. um, there's about 400 feathers right there. But now you see, sell them single. Yes. Now they're charging the beauty salons $10 a feather. There's 400 here. So that makes this $4,000. Wow. No, I don't sell this for four thousand dollars. Yeah. How much are you selling those little packets for? The little packets go for right around fifty dollars now. Okay. Yes. So it's I mean that's good money. Oh yes. Yes it is. It but it creates kind of a hole in the market. Yeah, let's talk about I mean, there's such a big demand for it. How's the supply doing? The supply's gone. It's gone. Uh, this this fashion is spread out of the United States. It's in Spain now. Uh, it's, it's just becoming worldwide, and unfortunately, when you get these feathers, uh, you have to euthanize the chicken, unfortunately, and they're gone. So, what we're finding now is no supply. I can't buy these anymore until 2012. So, what you have in your store is what you have for the rest of the year? What I have here in the store is more than what anybody has probably on the West Coast. Wow. Uh, it, I mean, does this create a problem for people who actually fly fish or fish and, and need those? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> for their intended purpose, I guess? Yes, it does. It does. It creates a problem because it's the intention of the feather to begin with to be used for t fly tying. That's how you find these long, narrow feathers like this, is because they're used to tie on a hook. And they like the length because they can probably get about four or five flies per feather. And that's how these chickens have been bred over many years. Mm. Uh, a place back in Colorado does it quite a bit, and they're well known for what they do. But that feather alone will tie many flies, but also now we're finding that feather is very desirable in your hair. Yeah, so it's kind of like a mix. So you're currently, I mean, you can't buy or order more of these feathers until next year. Yes, that's okay. correct. Yeah, okay. well, it, it's a seasonal thing. 
they harvest birds mm. so many different times of the year. Okay, that makes sense. Because you have to wait for the, the, the chicken. To be big enough, I guess, right? And to be coming in its full plumage, too. Mm. Yeah, it, it, sometimes they molt and you don't want to. You can't do it overnight, I guess. Yeah, you can't create the supply overnight. No. Okay. No, it won't happen. Uh, okay, anything else that you want to let me know? I mean, like, how much has this helped business? It's, it's oh, it's helped it quite a bit. It's just that. I feel a little bit sad for some of the fly tires that used to spend a few dollars for a couple of chicken feathers. Now are coming in and finding it's no more few dollars; it's lots of dollars because the price has gone up. I have to, otherwise, if, if the prices hadn't gone along with the industry, and now I'm speaking of the fashion industry, you'd probably be looking at a bare wall. They wouldn't be there. But so. I mean, it's flying the man. I mean, just I mean, a smart business person. Knows when the when the demand is up, I mean you gotta raise the price. I mean that's just the way it goes, right? That's correct. Yeah, I mean that's, that's you correct. can't fault anyone for doing that. I mean no. that's business. That's business. Right. Cool. Uh, anything I didn't ask? Anything would be important to include? No, I can't think of anything. You pretty much covered it. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate it. I can take the microphone from okay. you. Okay.